From UW Lacrosse, we have head coach Chris Schwartz, along with Bryce Barn, Marcinus, Shane Edler, and starting pitcher, who I think through tonight, Joe Miller. Coach, would you like to start with any questions or with any comments before we open up the questions? No, no. Um, this team just refuses to lose. These guys uh, have have so much heart and so much passion, and so much fight in their bellies. They just somehow just find a way to make it happen. Um, this group just keeps fighting. Shane, you guys scored more than half your runs in the regional with after two outs. You got two of the three tonight. But seriously, it, it looked like they thought they had you struck out on that called pitch that you took. Even when you got hit by a pitch after that, what are you thinking needs to happen to score a run? And what are you thinking when you saw the ball hit to the third baseman then um, before you came home this morning? Um, when I was at first base, I was hoping actually Trav would uh, hit one down the third baseline and give me a chance to score from first base because that was probably the only spot I was going to score from first base. Um, <laughs> But then uh, coach gave me the green light to uh, go ahead and steal. And I knew submarine guy probably was going to hold the guy on, hold runners on very well. He was going to have a slow leg kick. So I knew if I got a good jump on the first pitch, I knew there was going to be an opportunity that I'd be able to get to second base. And then once I saw the ball um, hit to third base when I was at second base, I just saw Gilly waving home. And I just put my head down and kept trucking. I wasn't stopped for anything. If he would have bobbled it, he probably would have thrown me out by about 50 feet, but it didn't matter. I was going no matter what. I was going to make them make a play, and uh, <coughs> yeah. Was that a tough pitch to look at, the one where they thought they had you struck out? Yeah, it was, but <laughs> considering my previous six other at-bats, uh, it, it was a tough one to go, but it was down. I thought it was down, and uh, mom saw it that way, too. Uh, coach, um, you know, looking at obviously a long game like that, uh, looking in the 12th inning, I mean, how important was it to be aggressive on the bases? Was that something that you were, if, uh, if Shane or anybody got on, you guys were going to attempt to, to take second like that? Or was that just, uh, uh, it was that type of an opportunity? Yeah, we, we, we had to do something, right? I mean, we, we uh, uh, with the pitching that was going on on both, both sides, um, I didn't, I don't really think anybody's going to string together five or six hits to score some runs. Um, and uh, Shane is, is a smart ball player, and, and we, you know, we got the opportunity to find a way to get on base. And, um, you know, some guys you might just give a straight steal to, some guys you might give the green light to. And with Shane just being a smart ball player, give him the green light to, um, if he felt comfortable first pitch, great. If he wanted to work for it, he could, he could have worked for it. Eventually, I would have given it to him anyway. But... Um, uh, yeah, we have to make something happen in those situations and, and push and make the other team make a play. We told the guys after the, you know, at the end of the game, the, um, you know, somebody was going to break. Somebody was going to make a mistake. And, and uh, as I opened with, you know, this team is, is just, just fights and finds a way. And I believe that we were not going to make the mistake. Uh, Jameson went six innings. I think that's a lot. Was there any any discussion about maybe saving him a little bit, uh, thinking that you might need him for you know later in the tournament? Or was this is the World Series? Nobody's getting saved. <laughs> um, and you go try and take him out of the ball game because I sure as heck can't find a way to get him out. He will not come out. Was he down or anything after giving up uh, the game tying hits there to uh, uh, you know, or was he pretty still fired up after? Uh, Still having a chance to win the game. Um, I think any anybody would be, you know, a little bit uh, down after after giving up a hit to give up any runs. But uh, if there's anybody that's tough enough to recover in a split second, it's, it's, it's Jamison Sadowski, and he was he was fine. I trust him as much as anybody else. Joe, you, Joe, you seem like you're in a good groove tonight. You just talk about how you felt tonight. Um, well, one of the biggest things we always talk about is just kind of staying in your routine. And uh, I don't know, one of my biggest things is just go out there and compete and just kind of lay it, lay it all out there. And uh, 
I, I always get reminders to stay in my routine. And if you ever watch, I always kind of do the same exact things. And I was doing the same exact things every inning, and it felt really good. And like I said, just staying in my routine, that's, that's all I could really think about the entire game. And then once I knew that I was kind of gassed and I was starting to lead the ball over the play a little bit, I, I told Coach, I'm like, you know, let's turn to the bullpen because there's, there's nobody better than what we got. So. Pitching a little bit out of the stretch today, uh, giving up a few hits and walks there. Are you, are you comfortable pitching out of the stretch? I mean, have you become fairly accustomed to it? Uh, well, I mean, obviously as a pitcher, it's something you got to do. Um, but, I mean, if I could just sit there and get people out <coughs> um, out of the windup, I mean, I'd love to do that because uh, I feel really comfortable out of the windup. But, obviously, pitching on a stretch is something you got to do. And um, you got to adjust, make the adjustment, whether it's holding runners on or, you know, keeping the ball down. And uh, that's when I just turned to my D and, you know, really expect them to, to, to get my back and uh, help me through it, especially out of the stretch because they're huge. I mean, wondering before, how does it feel to win these first two games and go to the school <coughs> championship tomorrow? It's awesome. I mean, winning two games in a row and having a shot to just clinch into the championship game is really awesome. Um, I mean, as a team, we all thought that it was there was a good opportunity for us to do this. And I mean, pitching wise, Hitting wise, we're just all clicking at the same time, which really helps too. <clears throat> you know, what's it like playing with all the fan support behind you? It's awesome. It's great. Yeah, yeah we get a, gr a great bunch of parents and fans and people coming out of the woodwork that I haven't seen in a while. I mean, just it's it's fun to uh, be here and, and and to play hard, but it, it's it's even better to have the support that we do. Even. During the regular season, too, it, it was the same, all the way from first game till now. Just being here is even better. So they seem to love it just as much as we do. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. You guys really taking a chance to kind of step back and look at the history that you guys have been making this year with I mean, the first team to make it this far, or are you guys just kind of taking a ride as it goes right now? We'll have time next week to think about it. <laughs>